This is Tell Boutique at 170 from the Boogie Down. We're down here in the South Bronx, repping barbershop and hip hop. Yo, what up, yo? Chicago! Yo, I've been writing for a long time, and it's funny, because the way I got into it, man, I used to do tricks on swings, and I was the king of the swings, and I used to write this name, King 13, because I was the king of the swings, right? Then I remember one time we won a battle with these other kids from another neighborhood doing tricks on the swings and stuff, and we won, we won the battle, and I went out the park, and I started writing my name up on Bodega Icebox, man, when these gang dudes, man, rolled up on me and told me, yo, you writing on our turf. So they made me an offer I couldn't refuse. They said, yo, there's two things that could happen right now. You could join the gang, write your graffiti, and get up BE, Bronx Enchanters, or we're gonna fuck you up. I joined the gang, man. <laughs> you know, and the rest is history, man. I got shot in 77, that's when I left the gang stuff, and I fucking started doing graffiti hardcore then, ever since then, man. September 26, 1977. Never forget that day, bro. Anyway, I ended up in the hospital. When I got out of the ICU, um, I was laying, I was handcuffed because I was arrested, I was in a shootout. And um, my brother came to visit me, man. He brought me some um, drawing paper and some buffalo markers. And I used to write at the time, 7102, right? And then um, after getting shot, none of my brothers come to see me, none of my gang brothers. I said, fuck the gangs. Yo, get a picture of that shit right now, man. Look at that. That's the Bronx. Welcome to the Boogie Down. Anyway, after getting shot and seeing, you know, none of my boys come to see me, man, you know, I decided to change my name, and I, you know, back in the days, they used to call me Big T because I was tall and skinny, and when I played football, I used to go like this. And they used to laugh at me because they said, "Look, he looks like a Big T," you know. And then since I was so tall, I hung out with the older kids, and they called me Kid. So I was doodling, right? I was doodling in the hospital, and I put Big T and Kid, and I got T Kid. And that's how I came up with T Kid, you know. And then 170 was the street where my mother was living at the time, and I took that number, and that's how I came up. And then the terrible came after, after I started the Vam Squad and all these crazy crews and shit, you know, and they said, damn, kid, you're terrible. So I kept Terrible T-Kid 170, and that's how I came up with the name. I'm the, fa I'm the son of many fathers. I learned from so many people, you know. Padre Dos is the one that really gave me style, sat down and taught me how to do this. You know, Tracy 168 taught me characters and composition, you know. And um, basically, I learned watching the trains, man. Watching cats like Riff 170, you know, Chain 3. Watching all the old school kids, man, do their things. You know, Slade. Watching, you know, all the Lee Ho cars I used to see, Blade and Comet. Watching them bomb and do their whole cars and stuff, you know. So I learned, you know, I learned a lot from different people, man. You know, and I combined my, you know, I combined. I took a little something from what I like from other people's pieces and incorporated it into my piece, you know, and, and I developed the flow. You know, that's what Padre told me. He says, yo, you should make your pieces move with the music, have rhythm to it, you know, have some flow, you know, and, 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 I, and to this day, man, that's how, that's how I flow with my style, man. You know, I, I'm not trying to be all souped up or anything, man, but yo, my style is like the basis for so many styles throughout the world, you know? Yo, my choice of paint, man, back in the days, it was Red Devil. I love that paint. Red Devil was like cream, man. I think it had lead in it or something, man, but that shit was good. You know, nowadays, man, Cryline ain't what it used to be. It's number water. Rustos, they still good. Um, but what I really like to use, man, I like that MTN from Spain, man. That Montana, Spain, man. That MTN, man. Yo, copy, bro. That shit is the shit, man. That's some good paint. You know, they got good colors. I mean, they really, they, they really hooked up paint to do some nice artwork. You know, I can't say the paint is strictly for graffiti because it's really not. You could paint your, your bicycle with it. You know? Besides, that's what the cops want to hear so they could outlaw paint, you know? But, um, you know, MTN Spain, man, that, that's the shit paint right there, you know? If you're going to do a canvas or something like that, then you might want to use the, the, the Molotov, you know, because that's really good for, for canvases, you know, it's, it's really good for that. Or you could use the Alien that MTN puts out, that's good for canvases too, you know? Yo, graffiti's taking me from, from, from Central Booking in the Bronx to Rikers Island to fucking Europe to Australia to all over the world, man. You know, graffiti has taken me behind my, beyond my wildest dreams, man. When I was writing back in the 70s, bro, I never thought graffiti would become what it has become. You know, I never thought that I would travel the world, get paid to go and paint. You know, now I'm in a video game, you know? That's bugged out. I'm actually one of the characters they meet. The, the main character that you play, his name is Train, right? And he meets writers along the way. He meets Cope 2, he meets um, Futura 2000, he meets Smith, he meets me, 
he meets um, Shepard Ferry, you know, and Scene. And each one of us teach him something. You know, like he gets, we're like, like the guru that you want to get to to learn. Yo, Ket hooked me up, they called me up, and you know, they wanted some artwork at first. I sent them, I submitted some artwork for the game, and then they asked me if I wanted to be a character in the game. And I got to meet Mark Echo, and all those people from Echo Incorporated, or whatever the, the name of the company is. You know, they're really good people, man, you know? And, um, you know, they asked me if I wanted to be a character in the game, and I said, shit, yeah, why not, man? I got a book out called Terrible Tiki, the Nasty. It's uh, it's kind of like a biography, and so, you know, it has to do how I grew up in the golden age of, of hip hop when it started coming up. You know, hanging out, you know, on Bronx River projects, man, break dancing with the Shaka Zulus at the time. You know, um, going to going to the Roxy and, and watching Flash do his thing and all that stuff, and, and watching hip hop become hip hop and seeing all the elements come together, graffiti, fashion, dance, break dancing, scratching, mixing, the whole nine, you know? That was, that's how it started, man, and I saw it all, man. And I talk about it in the book, Terrible T-Kid 170, The Nasty. It's a dope book, it's got a lot of pictures, a lot of, a lot of stories, a lot, a lot of stuff, man. Y'all gonna love it, y'all gotta check it out, man, you know? And it's basically, like I said, a biography about me, Terrible T-Kid 170, The Nasty. It's a cool town, man. You know, you got a lot of solid people out there, man. I want to give a shout out to my man Dan's design, my sister Diana, my sister Sandra, you know, yo Mookie, <laughs> and my mom. What's up, mom? You know, I mean, but but the cats out there are pretty cool, man. You know, it's been a long time because when I did a train out there, it was like '77. It was one of them bicentennial trains. It was fresh. You know, I went through somebody's backyard to get into the yard, man. That shit was funny. And I did it by myself, it was a lonely mission, and I got over, and that was it, man. Yo, if you want to check out the book, man, writers.com, TurboTK170, that's my website, TurboTK170.com. You can check it out there, too, man. It's raining out here, it's getting wet, and we out. Peace.